this is from the Empire Files. Files. We're gonna watch this. Eyewitness accounts of um, Mansoor uh, Adefi. Ron DeSantis smiled and laughed while watching his torture at Guantanamo. The human rights lawyer used his position to help maximize impact of torture on detainees. So, what they're alleging here is that Ron DeSantis oversaw torture. Long story short. So let's watch this. I was waiting to watch this until I got on this uh, this stream here, but let's let's watch. You know, as you know, Guantanamo, uh, Mike, it was created out of the legal zone, out of the legal system, out of the humanity, basically. Torture was the was the mechanism of Guantanamo. Torture, abuse, and experimenting on prisoners is Guantanamo. Uh, we went on a massive hunger strike in 2005. and was like over 500 prisoners participated in the hunger strike. And that time, the only way to calm us down were they told us, okay, we are going to talk to listen to your need. We thought, we believed them that they would negotiate and talk to us. And we told them that's what we need, you know. But it was a trap, basically. It was a trap. I mean, everything turned upside down. So we went again on hunger strike. We were some force feeding. You know, it was really, it was torture. Ble we were bleeding all the time. And I saw a fucking handsome person who was coming. He said, I'm here to ensure that you're treating humanely. And we said, okay, this is our demand. You know, we were not asking for much, you know. At the beginning, he was just... It was Ron DeSantis. Yes, exactly. The person. He said, I'm here to ensure you're being treated humanely. Yes, exactly. And if you have any, if you have any uh, problems, if you have any concerns, if you have... Just talk to me. And, you know, I, we, 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 we were drowning in that place. I'm like, oh, this is cool. That person actually... Uh, Writing something, he will raise the concerns, but it was piece of the game. What they what they were, were doing, they were they were looking what hurt you more to use it against you. By the end of 2005, 2006, when he was there, one of the worst time at Guantanamo, literally. And they cracked on us so hard when they came to break our hunger strike when he went again and for Sweden. I swear by my god, Mike, they brought you know, piles of insure, and they start force feeding us over and over again. And uh, Ron DeSantis was there and watching us. We were crying, screaming. We were tied to the feeding chair, and that guy, he was watching that, he was laughing, basically. It was hurt like hell. And I was... Okay, okay, let me just pause it right there. So this is the image depicting them being force-fed in shore. And let me just go back to make sure that I'm hearing this right. Chair. And that guy, he was watching that, he was laughing, basically. It Ron DeSantis was laughing at torture. That's seriously what he's alleging here. Now, knowing what we know now about Ron DeSantis, this is absolutely believable. He is sick, he's sadistic, and he very clearly loves to see other people suffer. Marginalized people, anyone who is under his control, um, so I believe him when he says this, and this is, uh, this is scandalous, uh, but I haven't heard a single mainstream news outlet talk about this. I imagine Trump will use this against DeSantis if he decides to run against him. Possibly, although the problem is that Trump has endorsed torture himself, but perhaps if he wants to try to just throw whatever against the wall and see what sticks, he could use this, but this is really twisted. Like, it confirms that all of the people like myself who called out Ron DeSantis for being a psychopath are absolutely correct. To oversee torture and laugh after telling them that your job is to make sure that they're being treated humanely, that's a level of psychopathic behavior that, like, truly needs to be analyzed. Like, they need to lock him in a padded room and study him. Because, like, it doesn't get much worse than that, right? I, I mean, this is during wartime when we were doing enhanced interrogation i.e torture and even if you have been led to believe that these people who you're holding uh extrajudicially at guantanamo bay are terrorists still to see a human being suffer if your brain isn't broken that does something with you that's what happened with mike preisner he saw the pain that the u.s military was causing and as a veteran himself, he couldn't take it. So if you have a working moral compass, that is the response. But Ron DeSantis does not have that. His response was to laugh, basically. It hurt like hell. 
And I was screaming, like when I was, I was screaming, I look at him and he was actually smiling, like as someone who enjoying it. <laughs> when they used to feed us because we, you can, the, the, our stomach cannot hold this amount of insulin. They used to pour insulin one can after another, one can after another. So when he approached me, I said, this is the way we are treated. He, he said, you should start to eat. I threw up in his face, literally on his face. Ron DeSantis. Based. In his face, yeah. They used to, you know, restrain us in the in the, the feeding chair, which like, you know, like eight point, they tied our, our heads, our shoulder, our, our wrist, our thighs and our legs. And they came and they would really thick tube, they call it uh, French 17 or something, through our nose. And they keep doing this over and over again. And they put some kind of um, laxative in the, in the feeding liquid with like we shit in ourselves all the time. Then we would be moved to a solitary confinement, really cold cells. If we throw up, then like we used to, we used to get it like five times a day. It's not, it wasn't feeding, it just, it's what torture. So we couldn't handle it for five or, or, or five days. We couldn't because five times a day, you you can't, you, you, you cannot possibly handle it because they just kept pouring the insure. And in one week, they break all the hunger strikers in one week. Totally. It was a mission. And he was there. And not just that, they used to also beat us. And if we scream or pain, bleeding came out on our nose and mouth, they would like eat. The only word they told you, eat, eat, eat. You know, we were beating all day long, all day. There's a team, what, whatever you do, they just beat you. Pepper spray, beat, uh, beating, sleep deprivation, that continued for three months. And he was- Let me, let me just pause it there. So the Santos was there. So um, the Santos is someone who is very likely going to announce that he's running for president when he should be behind bars for the rest of his life. Like he should be at the Hague for overseeing torture. This is a complete violation of human rights, obviously, and it's times like this that I really wish that the United States was a party to the International Criminal Court because people like Ron DeSantis shouldn't have further ambitions to get more power. They should be behind bars. Psychopaths like this shouldn't be allowed to run a fucking Taco Bell, let alone a state or a country, and it's genuinely sick that people like this rise to power. And uh, honestly, with our system, he he's probably more suited, like better suited to rise up throughout the ranks because to make it in American politics, you basically have to be a sociopath. Uh, I, I will never back down from that claim. You have to be so ruthless. You have to not care about the uh, pain that you cause. You have to be um, somebody who is willing to throw others under the bus. And Ron DeSantis has all those qualities. But he shouldn't be rising through the ranks. He should be at the Hague forever. Beating, sleep deprivation, that continued for three months. And he was there because at the beginning, he told us that he was there to ensure we are treated humanely. And if we have concern with issues, he will take it. But he's one of the people who actually supervise the torture, the abuses, the beating all the time at, at Guantanamo. So you're saying that DeSantis initially, because he presented himself as the lawyer whose job it was to ensure you're being treated humanely, then you and other detainees told him the things that were the hardest for you to deal with, the things that you felt needed to change. And then instead of actually making sure those things changed and that your human rights are respected, he then basically like was gathering intelligence to then tell the prison camp and the interrogators what it was that was impacting you most so they could do it more to you. Exactly. That would have been there because the things we used to tell them, it turned, it turned against us. Every wow. Wow. So Ron DeSantis, according to his testimony, pretended that he was there to make sure they were treated humanely. They confided in him. And Ron DeSantis turns around and uses all of that against them to do more torture. This is a sick, sick son of a bitch. Wow. I think we talked to him become multiple because he was looking at the impact on you. What hurt you more? Ron DeSantis was there all the time because his job to walk around and talk to prisoners. Like, I'm here to ensure you're being treated hum humanely. I'm like, I'm telling Americans, if this, if this guy, if this, if this is humanity, this guy is torture, is a criminal. Bye. 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 
Wow. Yeah, I, I think that with this information, it just confirms that DeSantis is by far more dangerous than Donald Trump. At least Donald Trump did do some based things throughout his life. I know that liberals like to use this against him, but him being a draft dodger is like the coolest thing about Donald Trump. It's the only endearing thing about him. Uh, and I get that the, there's this hypocrisy element to where like he sent other people to die in wars that he himself wouldn't fight. But Ron DeSantis, by being there and overseeing torture and using methods that they said were the most painful against them, it just it's such a it's a different level. Ron DeSantis is so cruel, so psychopathic that I don't want him anywhere near power like this in my mind confirms that, yeah, he's worse than Donald Trump for sure. Donald Trump again. Um, I think that he's a bigger threat to democracy. I've said this before because I don't necessarily expect DeSantis to explicitly challenge the results of elections. He's going to do what other Republicans do and try to rig it by disenfranchising voters with voter ID laws or extreme gerrymandering. Um, but in terms of the amount of damage that he can do as the president, I mean, somebody who is this sick in the head, who tortured people. It's just I can only imagine the damage that he could do long term to the country. So, yeah, credit to um, the Empire Files for uh, doing this interview. <laughs>